website, identifying how the public may join and comment. Please note the meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating in a video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided to members of the body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair notes otherwise. The chair will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will invite members to provide any comments, questions, or motions. Please hold until you are recognized and your name is called. Please remember to mute your phone or your computer when you're not speaking, and please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you. If you wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair. Due to the size of my laptop screen, I may not be able to see all members at once. If someone has raised their hand and I have noticed, I hereby request Tara Bradley or any of the court to please bring this to my attention. So let us take the roll call to determine that you're here uh, and who's here. Um, so Grant Gibeon. Shane Blundell. Here. John Ellis. Micaiah Healy. Here. Brian Beck. Arif Padaria. Sophie Migliazzo. She's not going to be here tonight. Yeah, Jonathan Wallach. Here. Shailene. Daryl Harmer. Here. Annie LaCourt. Here. Alan Jones. Alan. Here. George Koser. Here. Bill Keller. Al Tosti. Here. Wanda Nascimento. Here. Christine Deschler. Here. Dean Carmen. Here. David McKenna. Here. And Tara Bradley. Here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve members. So we have a quorum. Okay. Um, well, let's um, first of all let's do the minutes to get that behind us. Uh, Tara, can you put the minutes up? Yes. One sec. Is it the minutes of 4 4? Yes. And um, I have had a chance to review them. They look pretty good to me. Anybody uh, have any comments or proposed edits? Um, none that I've received through email. Okay, so motion to approve the minutes is in order. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, any further discussion on the minutes? Hearing none. Um, Shane Blundell? Yes. Makaya Healy? Yes. Jonathan Wallach? Yes. Daryl Harmer? Get off mute. Yeah. Uh, Annie LaCourt? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. Rich Koser? Yes. Al Tosti? Yes. Wanda Nascimento? Yes. Christine uh, Deschler? Yes. Dean Carmen? Yes. And David McKenna? Yes. Thank you. The minutes are approved. OK, so let's uh, just uh, talk a little bit about tonight's meeting. Um, And actually, before um, we get into the discussion of tonight, I, I, I'd like to thank all the committee members um, for really great work this year. We've got a lot done. Uh, the, the Finance Committee report's about to go to press. Uh, you've all been very uh, diligent, attentive, and I know that these meetings go long and go late in the evening, um, but you, you've all been great. I know it's been a little easier that we 
you know, to stay out till 10 o'clock at night when you're, when you're at home rather than being down at the community safety building. But on the other hand, it's still a long evening and I appreciate uh, everybody's efforts. Um, I know you all worked hard on your budget groups and um, we've got all of the budgets under control, but also several members launched into um, special projects requests, uh, special projects uh, at my request. As, especially as I follow Al Tassi's rule of asking members to follow up on when uh, they ask a question. It's LLV, but thank you very much. Um, I also want to thank Al Tassi and the Operations Research Group for their report on the savings from re recycling. That's become an Appendix E in the uh, Finance Committee report to town meeting. In addition, um, I want to thank Christine and the policy group for the work they did in producing the Arlington Finance Committee handbook, which was a prodigious task, very well done. And it's going on the town website and the finance committee report uh, will announce it. And then finally, I'd like to do a shout out for Tara, her first year as executive secretary. And I think she's. Did you lose Charlie? <laughs> he got frozen, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> He was over. We're done. Move to adjourn. I didn't mean. Oh, looking pretty. like a former chair, Al. <laughs> Well, he's not trying to get back in yet, so maybe he's running around looking for his laptop charger. <laughs> so, Alan, you got all the pieces put together for the report? Uh... I have all the appendices out there and uh, I think Tara is gonna put it all together. So Al, were you waiting on a comment on article 60 from me? Cause I just wrote one and it's in SharePoint. I thought Charlie had asked me for, to write the comments for that, but. Alan, are you hearing me? Oh, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> Uh, I think I would have gone to Chara. Okay. Uh, is, yeah, I mean, that's the tech stuff. I, I don't. All right. I'll I, talk I to Chara about it. it. So, um, question here. Did anybody hear anything I said? No. You were thanking Tara, which okay, we good. all realize we, oh, she's done a fabulous, fabulous job. She's really surpassed, I think, expectations. And that was the last we heard, but. You were all thinking that you were very correct about that. So yeah. go from there, Charlie. Thank you, Christine. So um, I, so the next item was the House Ways and Means budget. It came out today. And the local aid is forecast just as it's in the five-year plan and as enunciated by Al Jones in Appendix C. So we don't have to change anything. So um, that means on the agenda that the, the issues that we have to deal with are the overlay reserve of revote uh, amendments to the uh, fiscal year 22 budget for the special town meeting and private way repairs for the special town meeting. So um, we don't have, there's no official warrant out. So uh, for the special town meeting, so um, it would be presumptuous and perhaps foolish of us to put a report for the special town meeting in our finance committee report. So I think we'll, we'll put a, a one pager out when we get closer to the uh, special town meeting. I looked it up in the, um, in the in the bylaws and the town manager act. And I think the select board only has to 
do an announcement on the on the uh, warrant uh, one week before the special town meeting. So um, what I'd like to do tonight is have a verbal vote. Excuse me, let me shut my alarm system off here. So uh, the, um, what, I'll, what I'd like to do is on the two articles that we're gonna have in the special town meeting, I'd like to take a, essentially a voice vote to get the committee's approval for these uh, items. And then when the warrant comes out, we'll write up a, a report, okay? Um, we also, just to give you a heads up, we will have to revote the collective bargaining article before it goes before town meeting. Uh, if you recall, we got a, essentially a plug number from Sandy Pooler, but he, he does have two uh, unions that will settle before we get to, the, to that in the town meeting. Um, so it looks like the uh, budgets, it, it's, it's a little bit uncertain because um, Greg uh, Christiana is going to follow the uh, consent agenda method. And so we don't know, of course, how many articles will be accepted in the consent agenda and how many will not. But um, we're guessing that the uh, budgets won't come up before May 9th. And on May 9th, what we'll do is uh, table all the articles until the Minuteman article, and we'll have Dr. Boquillen come to that, um, that night and give his presentation on Minuteman. Uh, then uh, we'll do uh, whatever other budgets we, we, we might do that night. But um, on, on the 11th, which is a Wednesday, I believe, we will start the special town meeting. And uh, that should take about an hour, an hour and a half. And then immediately following the special town meeting, we'll go back into all of the other budgets and, and financial ward foreign articles. And if we have to postpone um, zoning issues or whatever until after that, uh, we'll do that. That's, that's already been arranged with the moderator. So uh, we have to, we'll see what happens the first night of town meeting, but we may not have to have any finance committee meetings until May 9th. But uh, please reserve Monday and Wednesdays anyway. And um, after the first night of town meeting, I can let you know what, what it looks like for, for uh, what we may need to be doing. Uh, <clears throat> so we, uh, we also have to hear in the future from the uh, breakup committee uh, break up dinner committee, uh, Makaya and Sophie, Altasti and Tara. So we'll, we'll probably uh, hear some news about that during the early part of town meeting. Finally, uh, before the end of June, we, we will have another meeting um, to do a final review of required departmental fund, uh, transfers from the reserve fund. There may not be any required, but on the other hand, sometimes there are um, uh, special funds that are required for, you know, people who retire and have a big retirement payout coming or other extraordinary things like that. And the town manager and deputy town manager will come with um, requests for reserve fund transfers to clean up the books before the end of the year. And then finally, either at that night or a, a nearby night, we'll have our uh, organizational meeting uh, to get, get the committee set up for fiscal, for next fiscal year or next however we're going to want to call it next calendar year. So those, that's sort of the, the order of uh, battle here. Anybody have any questions or comments? None. Okay. So let me take up the, um, what may be Warren article, uh, I'm sorry, let's take up the overlay reserve revote, which is Warren article number 69. So, in the, we originally voted seven hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars to transfer from the overlay reserve surplus to um, the um, uh, over override stabilization fund. I think it was, and um, the town. So the the two the two articles that are, will be before us in the special town meeting. One is the million dollar article that we've talked about several times. And the other is a $100,000 appropriation for, um, for uh, filling up the, the gas tank, so to speak, 
in the um, private way repair a revolving fund because they have a number of big projects. We already we already made a transfer and did that this year for this year's requirements, but they still will have more requirements next year. Keep in mind that this money is uh, th doesn't really leave the town. It's it's essentially working capital to fund the operation until the abutters to the private way who are having the work done uh, either pay their pay it all at once or pay it out over time in taxes. But eventually, the money comes back to the town. So um, it turns out that the uh, town management uh, missed the need to put this article in the annual town meeting warrant. So it's going into the special. But in order to do this in, in the special, uh, we're going we're gonna to use the money, $100,000 from the overlay reserve surplus. So that means we need to reduce the $750,000 transfer that we made um, on that article um, to uh, 650,000. I forget what the article was. Uh, Charlie, I think it's article 74, but we didn't, what we ended up voting was to just vote the 400,000 and, and just have the rest reduce the take from the stabilization fund. Let me think. Um, I, I've got it that we voted 750. I believe we voted 750, yeah. March 30th. That's what I had in my records. So I would be, uh, I think I'd like, like to see, uh, what's on your, uh, on your summary sheet? 400. 400. Uh-oh. That's a little discontinuity here. Al, 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 Al Jones, um, yeah. say again what your proposal was. Well, we didn't need an article to transfer money from the overlay reserve fund into the stabilization fund. We would just take you know, less out of overlay reserve and it would trickle down into, or more out of overlay reserve and it would trickle down into less of a take from the stabilization fund. Or is it in transfer? I think we have to appropriate that overlay surplus into somewhere. It can't stay in the overlay surplus, the 750000 Right. But if we take it for general use, then we don't need to, uh, we don't need to transfer it into the stabilization fund. We just don't take that much from it. But that's what we did. We voted 750. Yeah. To go against taxes, pay okay. for the budget. Okay, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe uh, I misspoke there, but so I'm just thinking, trying to think here uh, about a way to do this that doesn't um, unbalance the budget. Nine. Are you maybe you're working at last year's? Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. Are you looking at last year's appendix C? Yeah, hang on. Your April Fool's joke was three weeks late. Yeah, you're right. Six fifty. What is it already? Six fifty. Yeah. Okay, then we don't have to do anything. Well, we voted seven fifty, so we need to re-vote. Okay. Well, that's where I started out, and that's what the minutes, the agenda says to have a re-vote. So, um, 
let me go back to my original statement. And um, it's been an interesting journey, a little walk around our, our uh, minutes and so forth. But so what's in order here is a, a motion to reconsider the uh, vote on Article 69 and change the um, amount from a vote of 750,000 to a vote of 650,000. Altasi. So move. I, I move reconsideration of Article 69 and with the same vote to lower the further the previous vote of 750 to 650. Is that, I hear a second. 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 So it's moved and seconded. So uh, Al Jones, you sure you don't want to change it to 400,000? Nah, not this year. Okay. All right. Um, any further discussion on this? Okay. Um, Shane Blundell? Yes. Makaya Healy? Yes. Jonathan Wallach? Yes. Daryl Harmer? Yes. Andy LaCourt? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. George Koser? Yes. Al Tosti? Yes. Wanda Nascimento. Yes. Christine Deschler. Yes. Dean Carmen. Yes. And David McKenna. Yes. Okay. So thank you very much. That vote has passed. So um, we have ratified that what is now in the report that says six hundred fifty thousand is transferred from the overlay surplus. Yeah, I knew we were going to do that. Okay. So then um, that brings us to the to the next uh, to the votes for the special town meeting. As I just mentioned, I'd like the committee to vote this. Um, first of all, to, uh, for, for the movement of a, of a million, um, uh, Al Jones, do you have that number in front of you? The total, the, the exact number from the, the um, special education reserve fund? One million zero nine four zero five five. Okay, thank you. So, to, in the special town meeting, for what we think will be uh, Article Number Five, to amend the uh, budgets to um, move the fund, the amount that uh, Al Tassi just mentioned. Uh, from the uh, reserve, the finance committee reserve fund into the override, override stabilization fund. Uh, can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Moved, seconded. Second. Okay. What's the from fund again? I'm sorry, Tara. What what fund is it coming from? One more time. From the um, I, I'm going to say from the finance committee reserve fund. Okay. And Al Tassi, can you mention that number one more time, please? Zero nine four zero five five. Thank you. Okay. So it's been moved and seconded. Um, this is this is the money that we need to get into the override stabilization fund before the end of the fiscal year so that it's available to be counted as revenue in fiscal 23. If we don't, if this isn't voted, then this money will go into, into uh, free cash and it won't be available for another year. So any questions or discussion on this motion? None, okay, we'll take a vote. Shane Mundell? Yes. Micaiah Healy? Yes. Jonathan Wallach? Yes. Daryl Harmer? Yes. Annie LaCourt? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. George Koser? Yes. Al Tosti? Yes. Wanda Nascimento? Yes. Christine Deschler? Yes. Dean Carmen? Yes. And David McKenna? Yes. Thank you. So um, that is passed unanimously. Uh, the, the second 
article, which we think will be warrant article number six in the um, special town meeting is the private way repairs rever revolving fund. And uh, the, the idea there is to uh, take that $100,000 that we formerly were gonna put in the overhead stabilization fund and transfer that from the overlay surplus into the private way repairs revolving fund in amount of $100,000. And this will um, provide the revolving fund with the money they need in fiscal 23 for um, financing the uh, private way repairs. Um, any questions? We've discussed this before so a couple of times, once with the town manager, with the deputy town manager. Al Jones, do you have your hand up? No, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. That was. Um, okay. If there's if there's um, no further questions, we'll take a vote. Uh, Shane Blundell. Yes. And Micaiah Healy. Yes. Uh, Jonathan Wallach. Yes. Daryl Harmer? Yes. Annie LaCourt? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. Uh, George Coaster? Yes. Al Tosti? Yes. Wanda Nascimento? Yes. Christine Deschler? Yes. Yeah. Dean Carmen? Yes. And David McKenna? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Unanimous vote $100,000 for the revolving fund. So um, probably, um, if if we if we have a meeting before the May 9th, May 9th we'll we'll uh, review the, the the special town meeting report in person. But it, it's going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be those two items because those are the only two financial items on the the uh, special town meeting. Um, so I, I, actually that completes the business for this evening. We don't need to do a final budget check um, because um, there's nothing changed in the House Ways and Means um, local. together into one document and um and then we'll review that pdf one more time for consistency by tomorrow morning and then get it off to the printers um any and anybody who wants to do that feel free if you have all this extra time tonight because we're going to adjourn the meeting earlier you can spend your time looking at the uh, pdf version of the finance committee report which is on our sharepoint site hi uh, charlie yes tara um, I can have probably that PDF ready in like 20 minutes or so, and I can send an email out to everyone. But do you want to put a, like a time tomorrow when, when kind of we're going to be sending it out that people will know to, to stop kind of looking at it, that that's kind of the cutoff? Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea. Um, let's, let's assume, um, let's say 9.30. Is that good? So if we've got some suggested changes, who should we send them to? Tara. Okay. I'm sure we can get a few extra hours um, from um, Swifty printers if we if we have to, but yeah. But the best thing to do is get them all to Tara. Tara will chase after me or anybody else so she has to check with. And um, we can we can um, implement them. Okay. Anything else this evening? Any new business? Any old business? Uh, I should say that I had a, um, in the last couple of days, I've had some extended discussions with our new town moderator, Greg Christiana. And I think he's very diligent, um, very thorough. He's working hard to get um, up to speed on all the um, the ins and outs of the process processes of the town meeting. So I, 
I think um, I'm expecting that he's going to be doing a good job. Um, <clears throat> the uh, the other thing I, I should mention is I, I assume that everybody knows that town meeting is going to be virtual. The board of selectmen decided that on Monday night, so we don't have to have our, our so our uh, seven thirty. <laughs> meetings will be virtual just as we're having right now is there a chance oh sorry go ahead is, is there a chance that town meeting members like would just would because don't they have to vote yes that to, to continue it virtually I, I don't think there's any chance it'll be. okay yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't imagine we would stomp on the needs of the people who need to be protected yeah. in that way right okay well good thank you very much everyone um i think a motion to adjourn is in order you get your whole evening back it must be good i don't know if there's Hello. any television shows on wednesday night you know i haven't seen seen in so long nobody <laughs> does television anymore charlie <laughs> i know i don't either so it doesn't matter but i was just trying to use the figure of speech all right all right um so moved <laughs> Second. Second. Oh, it's moved and seconded to adjourn. Uh, hearing no objections, we are adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good Hello. evening. Bye. We'll see, you, see you in a couple of weeks. Okay. Take care. <laughs>